All right, naturopaths, let's talk about marketing in your business. And specifically what I wanna cover in this, in this video is how do you stand out from all the other naturopaths that are out there? Hey, what's going on? Yuri Elkame, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. We help health professionals and coaches get more clients and scale their businesses online. And in this video, uh, you're here probably because you're a naturopath and you're interested in improving your marketing chops and probably getting some more clients and building your business. Great job. It's amazing because you've got magic that can help a lot of people. But you might be thinking to yourself, well, well, there's probably a lot of things you might be thinking, but one of them might be, well, there's a lot of other NDs, there's a lot of other naturopaths. How do I stand out? How do I rise above the noise. Well, that's what I want to share with you here. And before I get into this, listen, depending on where you are in the world, I live in Toronto, Ontario, which is one of the worst jurisdictions for naturopathic doctors. And it sickens me. Like it really, like I get, I get sick to my stomach thinking of how oppressive these governing bodies are preventing amazing practitioners like yourself and many of your colleagues from truly putting their word out there in a very big way. It's, it's absolutely atrocious. So I just wanna let you know that I'm fully on your side because I've been in this space now for 20 years. Um, I got into health because I lost my hair when I was 17. Well, I didn't lose it. I, I mean, I saw it fall out. I have, it's not like I woke up and lost my keys. I woke up one day and I started losing my hair. Autoimmune condition, you probably know. Anyways, um, <laughs> different, different stories. I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's talk about your marketing. Okay, so how do you stand out? With that said, I think the most important thing to think about with your marketing is like think of marketing as everything everything you say, everything you do, everything you type, everything you speak is marketing. So marketing is essentially everything your audience is exposed to before the point at which they have a conversation with you about working together. So marketing in the grand scheme of like someone never knowing you to the point of actually them giving you money, marketing is about 95% of that journey. And so everything, content, uh, like every possible thing other than the phone conversation you have with someone or the in-person consult is marketing. And if it's done well, the better you market, the less you have to sell. The better you market, what's going to happen is people will come into your world and they're like, man, I've been following your stuff forever. It's amazing. How do we get started? That is when you know you're doing a very good job with your marketing. If you run into conversations with prospects where it's like, yeah, tell me about who, like, who are you? What do you do? How are you different? Uh, how are you better than the other naturopath? If you get into those conversations, you have to be like ninja-like with your selling skills. But most, and that takes time. And like, you should definitely sharpen that saw or that, that sword as well. But it's a lot easier to just do a better job educating, which is really what marketing is, educating and building relationships with people to the point where they know they can trust you so that selling becomes almost unnecessary. That's my definition of marketing. And so how do we do that? Well, there's a lot of things we could do, but I wanna share one really, really important takeaway here, which is this, is you have to understand what is the one thing you would go to war for? And that becomes the pillar of what you share. Let's, as an example, I'm gonna bring something up that's gonna be very controversial. What is your stance on vaccinations? You can feel the goosebumps already, right? If you're pro-vaccine, right? Most medical doctors are gonna be pro-vaccines. Many alternative, not so much, right? It depends. But if you are, whatever your stance is, just be very firm and black or white. And this, I know this is challenging. I know this is hard because we want to play in the gray area. We want to play in the gray area because we're like, well, I don't want to piss people off. I don't want to alienate people. I don't want to be seen as this, this, or that. And we're so worried about what other people are going to think about us that we dilute our message and we don't share our true voice. And when we do that, we become a commodity. And that's how you get inundated, how you get lost in the sea of everyone else. And I listen, I've made this mistake, right? And I'll give you, I'll give you a great example just recently. So in Healthpreneur, we have been for years 
the best in the world at helping practitioners build their virtual businesses, right? Um, premium price coaching programs that lead to transformational outcomes for their clients. That's where the best, we're better than anyone on the planet at doing that. And then about a year ago, as of the shooting, I had an idea where I was like, you know, a lot of our clients are using our principles in their practice. And why don't we develop a program for practitioners who want to build their clinic? And so we came out with a program and it was really good. And then we started to, you know, months, months, you know, months later, we started to look at, well, you know, in our business, where are the majority of our clients? Where's the majority of our revenue? Where's the majority of our passion? And we came back to our roots. We said, listen, like, we're splitting ourselves a bit too thin here by having different, different, it wasn't even the fact that it was different programs. It was at its core, different messaging because fundamentally I had an issue. Like, here's the problem is that I'm like, yeah, like I can help you fill your practice. I can help you fill your practice in 30 days. But here's the problem that I had in my soul about that is that one out of every two practitioners is already burnt out. That's a very big problem. So here I am and I'm saying, listen, I'm going to fill your practice so you can feel even more burnt out. And that was the fundamental philosophical problem I had with that. And the second thing was that I firmly believe that if you're a health expert and you don't have, I'm not talking about it in just a virtual presence. I'm talking if you don't have a way of serving clients virtually, you are toast. And that's something I really firmly believe in. And that message was watered down for quite some time because I said, well, we can also help your clinic. And, you know, after doing that for about nine months, I said, you know what? We're done. We're killing that. We're killing that program. We're killing that messaging because it's not true to who we are. And so the reason this is so important is because when you ask yourself the question, what do I firmly believe? Like, what do I, what do I believe more than anything else as it pertains to the way you see health or, you know, the specific problem that you can help people overcome? You have to speak that truth. You have to speak that truth. And for instance, I'll just come back to me for a second. If that's okay, I know that, you know, you don't care about me. You care about yourself, which is totally fine. Um, but here's the thing is that when I am sharing this idea of if you don't have a virtual practice, it's only a matter of time before your business crumbles or you crumble, either one, because you can't scale a clinic. It's physically impossible unless you open up another clinic. If you just, I've got other videos talking about the capacity ceiling and all that kind of stuff. And I really believe this to be true because I've been, I've experienced it myself and I've seen thousands of others go through it. And most of our clients come to us because they're sick and tired of being slaves to their practice. And they want time freedom. They want location freedom. They under, they, why would they want to pay $20,000 a month in lease when they could work from home or uh, from a warmer location in the wintertime and help clients virtually and get them better results than if they saw them in person in many cases? And, and I've just seen this time and time again, and I've seen what that's done for my own life. Like the, the ability to spend my months, I live in Toronto, so the winter is really terrible, to be able to spend five months in Australia where it's nice and warm with my family, like <laughs> to, 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 to be able to help others, to be able to help health entrepreneurs make their dreams happen. That's our mission, whether that's to, to go south or to sell their clinic or to spend more time doing what they love to do. I fundamentally know the only way to make that happen, the only way to make that happen is by having a virtual practice that is leveraged, that doesn't require you trading time for money. And so the more I share this, you might be watching the same, you're, you're, on, you're on drugs, man. I don't know what I don't know what world you're living in. I don't I don't know what world you're living in. Hey, that's okay. Eventually, you'll realize. And I say that with all the love and respect because I've been doing this for 20 years and I've I've lived it firsthand. Um, and I've helped a lot of people go through this. And so for me to water that down is a disservice to my message and to the people I can serve. I want people to look at my stuff, to watch these videos. And be like, this guy, he's out to lunch, man. He's crazy. That's what I want. I want to repel people. I want to repel the wrong people. And I want to attract the people who are like, yep, this guy makes sense. I believe on what he's talking about. This is, like, this is what I need to do. And this is what you need to do with your marketing. Is you need to take a stance. You need to draw a line in the sand. And you got to say, this is what I believe in. This is what I believe against. This is what I stand for. This is what I stand against. Marketing is not how to. Marketing is more about you sharing your beliefs and opinions and philosophies. It's about building a raving fan base of people 
who will go to war for you, go to war with you because they believe in what you stand for. This is how you separate yourself from everyone else. When you dilute your message, when you try to be safe, when you compare yourself to others, that's when you're done. You are finished. Don't play that game, please. Okay. Now, if this has resonated with you, give me a hell yes in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to the channel because I've got lots more good stuff for you. And if you have an online presence, an online business, virtual practice, whatever you want to call it, and you want a more predictable, more consistent, and more automated way of getting your best clients coming into you instead of you chasing people all over the internet, then be sure to watch our Perfect Client Pipeline training. The link for that is right below this video. It will change your life. Promise you. Watch it today. Thank me later. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you. Keep doing the amazing work you're doing, and I'll see you soon.